Did you think a skeleton was just a scary thing you might see in a movie or on Halloween? Well, I, Dr. Wellbody, am here to tell you that there is a lot more to a skeleton than that. We are about to explore some facts about your skeleton and mine. That's right, we all have skeletons hidden underneath our skin. A person's skeleton is made up of bones, about 206 in all. If you did not have a hard skeleton like this to support you or hold you up, your body would be as soft and floppy as a rag doll's. Feel your arm. The hard thing inside is a bone. Bones give your body shape and protect the softer parts of you. If you touch the sides of your chest, you can feel the bones called ribs. They look something like bars on a cage. In fact, that part of your body is called your rib cage. It protects your heart and lungs. Now tap lightly on your head to feel the bone called your skull. It is like a helmet made up of flat bones and it protects your brain. Bones are amazing. Did you know that one bone in your ear is as small as a grain of rice? Your bones are not very heavy because they are filled with a light, spongy material called marrow. Yet they are stronger than steel. And if you break a bone, the broken ends will heal by growing together again. Isn't that amazing? A joint is a place where two bones meet or join together. Bones cannot bend. But at a joint, the bones connect in ways that let us move and bend our bodies. Stand up and try bending your knees. Now stand up straight again. Do this a few times. Did you notice how your knees moved forward and back like hinges on a door? But your knees cannot bend in the other direction. That is how your knee joint works. Your hip joint is at the place where the top of your leg meets your body. Your hip joint is like a ball on the end of one bone that fits into a socket, an opening in the shape of a bowl, on another. It lets you move your leg up and down and turn it so that you can kick, walk, run, and jump. Now, touch your wrist. It contains lots of tiny bones and different sorts of joints. These joints let you draw, write, and throw a ball. Can you find other places in your body where there are joints? There are joints in your elbow, shoulder, ankle, fingers, and many other places. Run your hands down the middle of your back. Do you feel the line of small bones that run up and down it? These small bones are called vertebrae. Each vertebra is a joint. Together, they let you bend and twist your body in different directions. Taken all together, the vertebrae make up your spine. The spine is the column of bones that forms your backbone. Your spine covers your spinal cord, which is part of another system that we will learn about later. Your amazing skeletal system is made up of bones that are linked together to support your body, give you shape, protect your organs, and help you move. Would you like to hear a rhyme about my skeleton? Here goes. Without my hidden skeleton, I could not stand up tall. And so hooray for bones, I say, 206 in all. Let's say it all together now. Without my hidden skeleton, I could not stand up tall. And so hooray for bones, I say, 206 in all. That's all for now, but before I go, let's have each one of you stand up and move your skeleton. Wow, tomorrow we're going to learn about another system that works with your skeletal system to help you move. See you next time.